Alright, welcome back to the channel everyone, uh, hopefully you're all doing well and enjoying the videos. Now, it's been a while, I know, and I'm sorry about that, but it's been a very, um, sort of, bustling few weeks for me at Im Imperial, so, uh, I've had to sort of balance the videos slash trying to do stuff and trying to not fail medical school. So, you know, I've had to be balancing those things, and obviously YouTube hasn't come at the top of those priority, uh, list, and I'm sorry, you guys don't deserve that, uh, obviously you're subscribing to the channel, and, uh, I do hope that it's been alright for the last, I mean, it's not been too long, you know, I'm apologising a lot, but it's not been too long, you know, I've got to give myself some credit. So, uh, it's been about, you know, a week or so without videos, well, maybe a bit longer than that. But, today we are coming back with another video, and you've clicked on the video, it's a day in the life video, so hopefully you do already know that you haven't just clicked on this video without knowing it. If you're new to the channel, essentially, I'm going to be taking you guys through a day in the life video, um, of, a day in the life of my university. Now, the reason why I'm doing it today is because, number one, uh, today is the day that we managed to access both campuses in one day, uh, our Hammersmith and our South Kensington campus. And if you don't understand that, here's a little bit of context. So we've got about five campuses, I think, in Imperial College London. Uh, I can't remember them all off the top of my head. A Charing Cross one, a South Kensington one, a St. Mary's one, and two others I can't remember. And we don't access them all, to be honest. In first two years, we certainly do not go to these campuses all. Uh, we usually tend to stick to our Charing Cross and South Kensington campus. I do believe that we do go to some of the other campuses uh, now and then later on at university. But for the time being, we're stuck to mainly those two. Usually, we only go to one campus in a day because, you know, we just have all of our stuff on that campus. But today, due to a timetabling, just logistical thing, I'm going to both my campuses. So I thought I would take you guys along with me, uh, vlog at the same time because you know it's just helpful because you guys can see two campuses at once and uh, yeah hopefully you guys can sort of enjoy the moment. I have tried filming all of it and obviously it's a little bit awkward people walking around so I will be narrating some of it here, I'll be coming back to here so talking through some of the things that I've seen. A quick well, note to the sponsors of this video, uh, Med Mentor, who are a new sort of group who are dealing with all kinds of things to do with the medical application. Now, we've spoken a lot about medical applications and how to access really good resources, and Med Mentor are one of the best out there. And the best thing about Med Mentor is they're completely free. They're completely free, and that is incredible because it means that they've got a huge, you know, wealth of resources out there that you don't need to pay, you know, to access. They've got, um, I think, interview hubs, they've got access to personal statement tips, they've got a clinic also that goes on every few days, which means that you can go on there live and ask questions and stuff like that, and it's, it's just a really cool thing to be have access to. The link's down below. Um, they're not paying to be in this video. I genuinely think this is a really good idea. Um, it's a really brilliant resource. I genuinely do believe that. So, I would highly recommend you go check it out, because it doesn't cost you any money to do so. You can literally just click on the link down below. So um, do go and click on that and have a look at that and you know let me know how it goes. Okay so we're gonna start off with the morning. So essentially the day is laid out like this. I'm going to South Kensington in the morning and South Kensington is essentially for a tutor group meeting. Uh, we'll talk more about that later on. And then I'm going to Hammersmith uh, later on. Hammersmith is essentially Charing Cross. Uh, so I'm going to the Charing Cross campus in order to do some tutorials uh, sessions there. So yeah, I will be taking you to both of those, hopefully, if I manage to record them all. So yeah, let's head over there now. If you guys don't know, I'm on my way to Rangers Lane Station at the moment, which is where I depart from normally. Um, I take the Piccadilly line because Piccadilly has access to both Hammersmith, uh, which is Charing, which is where our Charing Cross campus is located. I know it's confusing. Hammersmith is where our Charing Cross campus is located. So the first thing, as you can see, we're going into the campus, and what's interesting is you'll notice there are a lot of buildings here. Now, a lot, all of these buildings are for medicine, so the buildings that we saw when we first ended were for design engineering. Skempton building, I believe, is also not a medicine building. That's for another course. 
Now the Sir Alexander Fleming building, which is the one that I've just walked past, is the medic building. That is where essentially all the medicine students congregate and that's where you've got your tutorials, your lessons, your tests, everything goes on in there. And it's called Sir Alexander Fleming after Sir Alexander Fleming, who obviously or not so obviously, for those of you who might be aware, invented penicillin at Imperial College London, which is pretty cool. So in the morning, before our teacher meeting starts, I've got some time. So like the good medical student I am, I head to the library, which is called the Central Library at Imperial College London. We're in the lift at the moment and we're heading up to the fourth floor, which is essentially the quiet study area. Um, I'll explain more about that at home. And it's a huge library, like believe me, it is huge. It's got five floors and it's got like 50 million different features on those floors. It's got breakout spaces where you can talk, it's got um, sort of eating spaces, it's got telephone spaces, you know, it's got a huge number of features. And as well as that, each floor is designated a volume level. So for example, level one is the talking or group working floor. So you can get together in groups and talk on that floor, even though it's a library, um, that floor is designated for that. Something like level three is a quiet floor. So you can make noise there, you can chat to your neighbor, you have to though make sure you're keeping it relatively quiet the conversation but you will are you are allowed to chat and there's another level i believe level, that's a silent level you are not allowed to talk there it's a really quiet area i tend not to go there because i'm always like really scared of that level like if you know my phone goes off it's gonna be really awkward so i tend to stick to the quiet levels because you know you don't get a lot of talking but you're allowed a little bit of volume there which is just i i, I prefer that but it's up to you really you don't have to go to any particular level uh, all it means is it's a quiet area, you can talk for a little bit, but it's pretty silent too. So okay, so the time is now about 10.30 and I'm heading to the tutor group meeting.
Now the tutor group meeting takes place in a little breakout room which is sort of lodged in the middle of a classroom or right at the front of it. So we go in there and we chat about, you know, some basic things, entry to the year, how everything's going to work, you know, just some really helpful tips to, you know, make your year a lot easier. And it's a very chilled out session. We just meet with our tutor and go over a few things. Now there are lectures to happen in South Kensington too. I've managed to film many, but they happen in massive, 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 massive rooms, you know, a huge seating capacity. And we also have tutorials, which I have filmed one. And, you know, this is one of them, uh, an asthma tutorial. So we do get to go to those too. So yeah. Now, point to make with small children, um, access to portal vein, it then needs to get through the liver where it will probably Yeah, so the time is now about lunch and I'm heading to Hammersmith. Uh, so I usually grab lunch before I do anything because I'm hungry. I'm just chilling here because I've come here a little bit early. Um, which is what I usually do because I don't want to get delayed by tubes and trains and stuff like that. So um, yeah. And after I grab lunch, I head to the Charing Cross campus. Now, like I said before, the Charing Cross campus is actually located inside of Hammersmith. So I do have to go to the Hammersmith station to get to that campus. Now this area is called Reynolds Cafe, and Reynolds Cafe is the medic cafe. It's where essentially you can go and get food, but at night it turns into the hub for all sort of socials and gatherings and sort of societies to meet. And it's a really big environment essentially. It can get really fun. Now I have some time on my hands to gain, and like the obedient student I am, I head to the library, which in Charing Cross is a lot different. Now, a bit of context here, the Charing Cross campus is not like South Kensington, it's a lot smaller because it's only for medicine students, and that essentially means that for medicine students you don't need a big library because there are a lot less of us compared to the whole of Imperial College London, so they just don't build a massive library. But it's got all the features you need, it's, uh, it's got pretty much like those divider desks you've got, it's got some spaces where you can talk, you're, you're allowed to, you know, have a conversation, so it's, it's still pretty good, it's got all the main features that you really need for a library, and yeah, I go there to do some work.
and that essentially was the whole day. Um, that was relatively quick and relatively fast, but it gives you sort of an idea and an insider into what it's like at Imperial College London. Hey, let's not, you know, drag it out for too long. Uh, if you've got any questions about Imperial College London, you can uh, message me down below. You can also hit them up using their email, which I'll leave in the description down below. And uh, yeah, like I said, don't worry about the MMI videos, they'll be coming out soon, and a couple of other videos in the works. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.